Initially it was Lada Niva VAZ2121-4 but now we have something unrelated to its origin. And I will tell you what changes happened to this SUV. You don't need to watch the whole story, just go to this time to view all the major alterations with prices in Russia. And under this link you can see the test drive of this Lada, but there were stock trucks with us, so the test drive turned out to be a little childish. And also it is in Russian. The front suspension now has springs from Chevrolet. Lada Niva VAZ 2123 made by Lee Joffers and spacers were installed on the upper and lower ball bearings. Also for lift one more lingerie was welded in and the front beam was lowered. Shock absorbers are stock. Double circuit brake system is converted to single circuit and two piston calipers from Chevrolet Lada Niva VAZ2123 were installed. The front gearbox was disconnected from the engine and mounted on a stabilizer bar which was cut off to increase suspension travel <laughs> man it sounds like suspension travel and adventures of the nut driver power bumpers are homemade they are inserted into the lingerons and just bolted but this is enough to pull the stock heavy gazelle Strong non-adjustable double row Iveco bearings were installed and wheel arches were trimmed and rolled out a little bit. To increase off-road abilities F Sport Science was installed as well. Rear suspension springs and shock absorbers remain stock. 10 cm or about 4 inches spacers were integrated for lift. Panhard road was increased by 4 cm or about 2 inches so that the rear axle remained straight with lifted SUV. Large and heavy wheels give a higher load to the axle, which can break. Therefore, additional metal profiles were welded onto the axle from both sides. The mount of shock absorbers have been replaced. Initially, they were attached to the bottom of the axle, but you can see here these mounts are all bent, so they were moved to the top of the axle. Rear drum brakes wasn't replaced or modified. They are useful. Front differential main gear was changed from 3.9 to 4.3. Stock axle shafts were replaced with the Soviet Union axle shafts. And this is pretty important because modern sticks constantly break with big wheels and Soviet Union axles are forged and much more reliable. The inner CV joints were replaced with 24 slots, the outer ones with 22. This was done to break the outer ones first because it's easier to change. Neva CV joints anthers are constantly torn when off-road, so that's why they were replaced with anthers from Audi 80, which are more durable. Transfer case gear ratio was changed from stock 2 to 1 and now it is 3 to 1. Sides of transfer case were changed to stronger ones with double row bearings. 4.3 gear was installed in the rear axle and differential lock named Loka, made by Ish Techno, was also added. So now we have SUV with a permanently locked differential and in case of a turn on asphalt it will unlock itself. The gearbox is definitely stuck, nothing was modified except the clutch. It was borrowed from Chevrolet Lada Niva VAZ2123. Forward Safari 500 tries was bought for about 80 bucks each. Nothing really special, just not expensive usable tires with 31 inches diameter and 10.5 inches width. The rims are off-road, 8J15. Steering is in stock except one thing, to operate such heavy and big wheels, reinforced steering pendulum with a double row bearing was installed. Drive shaft from some experimental lot. This drive shaft is definitely from UAZ, but the fork has been redone for Lada Niva. They were produced in some years, but for some reason they don't make it anymore. Drive shaft is now better, not worse than the regular one. Right below me is the engine, which was converted from the stock 1.7 liters to 1.9 liters. 84 mm pistons on 84 mm crankshaft were installed. Intake channels were polished. Lightweight T-shapes, welds and lower crankshaft with longer opening phase were installed. The alternator was lifted to the top of the engine and changed to a more powerful 135 amps. The main computer was changed to Yenvar 7.1 or January 7.1 if you want, which can be updated online. Other electrics is in stock. Headlights are hell again, they are constantly flooded with water. The main problem is they're not bright enough, but they are waiting for a retrofit to Land Cruiser 200 LED beams. Rear lights in trails were replaced with Mitsubishi Outlanders LEDs. Snorkel was made from swimming pool pipes. Some made it from sewer pipes, but they're not durable enough. Previously, an extra high beam on roof, as we call it, 
chandelier and brush cutters were installed here but in Russia it is forbidden to drive a car with chandelier or other non-stock parts and if the police stop you and they will they'll give you about 10 days to correct this malfunction after which they can avoid your car registration actually snorkel lifting big wheels forced bumpers and all this Neva is prohibited in Russia same as LED or xenon headlights there is nothing special what needs to be discussed inside the car except of the crack on the panel but it's important to mention that the seats in Niva are disgusting so instead of them Mitsubishi Lancer 9 seats were installed the car was painted in a Raptor a juicy olive color and it is designed to protect it from falling trees and now investments in US dollars Lada Niva VAZ 2121-4-2007 dollars engine crankshaft with 44 mm stroke 150 84 mm pistons 75 camshaft 95 enlarged polished inlet outlet 95 valves 60 throttle 20 135 amps alternator 75 january 7.1 computer 60 snorkel 25 other engine works oil small stuff 400 bucks transmission front gearbox 40 outer and inner cv joints 220 4.3 main gears 130 front wheel bearings 200 steering pin dalum 80 3.1 gears 400 double row transfer case bearings 50 rear axle strengthening 80 differential 4.3 gear 190 locker differential lock 160 wheels 560 power bumpers 110 raptor painting works 400 rear spring spacers 50 front lift other front works $1,100 and that's it for $7,125 you will build this prohibited to use in city monster Kylie, give me just a chance. Let's go out and dance. We can get it to the groove. I can watch you move. Oh oh. Просто кардан и кардан. Блин, мне не дает покоя. Тут вот у меня заначка. Крутые светодиоды оригинальные от Outlander. Светодиоды от Outlander. Как сказать от Outlander? Светодиоды от Outlander. Также в салоне на зеркале висит засохшая нога кролика. Но это не представляет особого интереса. Кто-то ржал, что ли, в это время? Слушай, блин, нога кролика. Это мой талисман, чтобы ты понимал. Вставлялка.